at Falafel Review. We're at Anayat in Bath Beach, Brooklyn, between Bay 31st Street and Bay 32nd Street on Bath Ave. Uh, pretty staple halal grill, right next to an Islamic Center. Um, came out to like six bucks, so super cheap. So let's see how it is. All right, we're in Bensonhurst Park in Bensonhurst, Brooklyn, off of Cropsey Ave and Bay Parkway. Uh, this whole general area was basically farmland for over 200 years held by the Benson family, uh, one of the American Revolution patriots. The name Bensonhurst by the Sea uh, comes finally from a land sale after 200 years of ownership. The family sold to real estate developer James Lynch and one of the conditions of the sale was that he would name the neighborhood Bensonhurst by the Sea. Mr. Lynch closed on the sale and began developing the parcels uh, advertising as a seaside resort uh, in 1888 and over the ensuing decades the area would flourish uh, being that Gravesend Bay is this way with the Atlantic Ocean further that way uh, New York Harbor that way and so it was a very convenient seaside destination Bensonhurst by the sea would continue growing uh, it had its own yacht club that way it had the Bensonhurst Hotel that way and it greatly benefited from the Brooklyn Bath and Coney Island Railroad, which is today the D-Train. Uh, there's an interesting story behind the Bensonhurst Hotel. When adjacent properties on those sites became available for purchase, the local town supervisor, Cornelius Ferguson, who established himself as the boss of New Utrecht, made a backroom deal and purchased the lots for his own family. He was indicted by a grand jury in 1890 over uh, the deal however, had survived the statute of limitations and therefore uh, avoided any uh, wrongdoing. Over the ensuing decades, uh, the area would deteriorate rapidly. And finally, in the early 1920s, the state built the Belt Parkway, which cut off access to the sea. Following the construction of the Belt Parkway, this whole area was bought by a local real estate developer, Fred Trump, who bought all 55 acres in a cash deal and described it as the finest home location he has ever purchased. And in 1947, he would build his largest development, the Shorehaven Garden Apartments, which you can see the corner right there, and housed over 4,000 families. All right, so this is Anayat. Let's see how it is. All right, here's the first view. Nice compact package. Uh, bevy of toppings. You can see some chickpeas, some olives, some cucumbers, some hot sauce, some white sauce. Uh, nice pita wrap. One bite in. It's pretty tasty first bite. Uh, falafel's very soft. Toppings are pretty good. Uh, well sauced. A few more bites. Uh, maybe it's the olives. Maybe it's the pita, but uh, kind of tastes like pizza. You know, nice and soft pita. Uh, good mix of flavors. Everything melts together well. Falafel is very tasty. It's soft. It's not uh, crispy, but it is a little crispy on the outside. All right, final bite, final verdict. The pita is very good. It's nice and soft and fluffy. Um, falafel is not crispy. It's soft. Toppings are good. Well sauced. Well balanced. Uh, I have no complaints. This is this is solid. For six bucks, it's very cheap. This is an eight three.